The United Nations don't call on Africa or God and make them do more stop, make them stop some yeah, yeah, worker from Africa. The UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed, when we say talk for the release of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, a report for migration when we say they call scaling fences, the voices of irregular migrants to Europe. And he said Africa got them, they feed their youth, and they make that they work out come up for Africa to go look for better opportunities. Ms. Mohammed, he said government must give opportunity for young Africans so that they feel get betterness within Africa. Migration is a driver of development, but it is also an indicator of incomplete development, and particularly of a development trajectory that is failing our young people. It is time for us as a country, but also as a global community, to aim higher so that human development launches today's and future generations into the fullness of its potential. Hope is a commodity too many bright, ambitious young Africans are going to dangerous lengths to pursue. So we must support the conditions of that hope to flourish here at home. And in parallel, we must ensure that those who choose to leave can do so through pathways that reduce their risks to abuse, violence, exploitation, or even worse. The impact we can make starts by listening and by understanding. What is the compelling reason for them to leave this country? Perhaps a single reason will not suffice, but I think for me, it's about opportunities. Do they have the opportunities that they need? What is there on the other side that is the poor factor that attracts them? Saying just opportunities might be simplistic, but then if you slice it, if you dice it, it's just about opportunities, either for educational advancement, economic advancement, or for any other reason. The area in which we think it's important is about skills. Some of them go out there to acquire skills. 21st century digital skills. The government this time around through the Ministry of Youth and Sports is committed to making sure we provide our youth, the large swath of our youth, with the relevant digital skills that they need to compete in the 21st century. In dealing with migration, we need to find, as I said, a common understanding. And I think that common understanding um, um, takes uh, engaging both uh, from Europe and from Africa in general, and Nigeria in particular as well. And we have for quite some time um, uh, engaged in negotiations on migration and mobility. We have not yet found the perfect way forward on that, but we um, are still uh, hopeful that we will see a, a joint way forward, a common understanding, because it will only be a win-win situation for all if we are to find a, a recipe on how better to uh, handle irregular migration. We don't want to risk ending up in a situation where the bad of migration would drive out the good of migration. The key recommendation is invest in the youth, allow uh, young people to take part in the cultural and social life and political life of Africa. Uh, as you probably know, that uh, young people do not necessarily, and they are not well represented in politics, they are not well represented in the economic sector, and socially, uh, we, we tend to not give young people the kind of leadership role they need, they need to play. So if we want to make sure that Africa becomes a continent for young people, then we must ensure that the young people are at the table and allowed to make decisions about their future.